<laughs> Look at this. A beautiful morning. We had a little bit of rain this morning. That's it over there. But it's clear behind us. Crooked Rapids. Here we are, we're back where we started the trip, on the same campsite. Yeah, it's so nice to be back here again, it's a nice spot, nice and shady all day in here. We had, uh, we were just sitting on the rocks here eating dinner, looking up at the sky, and uh, a flock of uh, night hawks went by. That's the second time on this trip that we've seen them. Probably about six of them. So that's really neat to see them. You don't see them a lot. And it seems like the river's come up a bit. We went for another swim. And... And we're going to spend an extra day here. And tomorrow we're going to go up and do some Crown Land exploring. An area I've always wanted to check out. And we're going to go out for a quick paddle. I'm waiting for that sun to go down. I had to light all these mosquito coils because the mosquitoes have been terrible. That's a little tricky. Oh, don't fit in the net. Five. You can see down in the distance that's the Haystack Islands that we passed through earlier today. I'll just snag yourself another one. Pick. <laughs> nice. Here's our nice little pick. All right, there's Al's pick. Nice little guy. Sunset time. Wow, I've got a nice sunset tonight. Morning. It's a misty morning today. This is the first one of these we've had. So this day didn't end well for us and we weren't actually going to include this next day. We were just going to stop the day before where I'll caught those two nice fish and leave it at that. But we talked about it and we thought it would be a good idea to let people see what can happen in the backcountry. 
And Al and I have been on quite a few trips together, and we've been very fortunate. But this just goes to show that anything can happen to anybody at any time. And what did happen was we went into a little lake to explore for the day. And we paddled around, and it was just a wonderful day. It really was the... The mist in the morning and the, the fishing was great and the sun came out later and uh, we decided to stop at a little lake, uh, a little campsite, I mean at the end of the lake and we got out, stretched our legs and I went to wander on a little trail and I heard Elle yell and when I went back she said, oh, I broke my arm. And we waited a few minutes and realized it was serious. So um, we got her up out of the sun and we had our first aid kit and we um, gave her some pain pills and eventually we put her arm in a sling. But uh, after about 15 minutes, we realized this was serious. So we grabbed our InReach Explorer and if you've never used one before and you do have one, take a few minutes to check it out because in a situation like that where you're panicking a bit, um, it helps to know what you're doing. Anyway, we um, I pushed the button and uh, sent off the signal and after a couple minutes we received a response and then we actually got a call on our cell phone which was weird down that end of the lake, but they wanted to know if we, they could pick us up on a road, which they couldn't. And then they said, we're looking at bringing in a helicopter, which I didn't think they'd get in. But um, that was the plan. And I would say after about maybe up towards an hour, we waited back and forth with this. And then uh, Elle started to feel a little better. And I said, I'll bring her out to the French River and you can meet us in a boat and they they said that's fine and then we got in the canoe started to paddle and then they sent a message saying no go back to your original position we're going to send a helicopter so I paddled back and on the way we could hear the helicopter coming and we waited and you could see the helicopter come in and they tried to land the helicopter a couple of times and there's it was just nowhere to land so um we did get some footage of this eventually it did find a little rock to land on and i'll let this footage play here just so you can see that's the helicopter flying around looking for a spot That's where it landed, and it let the two first responders out, and then it took off. So I brought Elle over, and I said, yep, it's broken. Loaded her up, and took her away. Sound to the hospital, and then uh, she went to her sisters in Perry Sound. So, well, it's hard to enjoy such a beautiful sunset when, after what happened today, Elle broke her wrist, had to be flown out by helicopter, and I'm here alone now. And I gotta take everything out tomorrow, which is really no big deal. It's just one day's paddle and I'll be back at the trailer, but pretty sad, pretty sad. So, uh, I mean, it is gorgeous. Another beautiful night. I'm gonna hit the bed early tonight and try and get up early, but hopefully it's not foggy like it was this morning. The fog didn't lift for at least two hours, so. Good night from French River.